All right, so it's the end of day three. It's just about 11 at night and I'm walking back, back into the wilderness to catch up with my pup. Go to, he got a bit of heat stroke today, I think. Not real bad, he's not vomiting or anything, but he's weak and uh, he got a lot of water, so that helps, but he didn't get any food today besides first thing this morning. And he's a big dog and he's all black. Coda! Let's go, buddy. Get some supper for you. Have a lay down. I just found him, here he is. Oh, not far from where I left him, honestly. Hey, buddy, I'm coming. I'm here, big guy. Good boy. Me and you, keep it up. Too cold to sleep out here. You're only a couple miles from camp. Okay. So, I'm in my sleeping bag. On the trail. Quarters right there. And, uh, yeah, he's... He's not really moving much now. We got a little ways. We actually got... I think we're... Aware of the bonds that were created today When you told me that sure there's a way The water's so still and my pain has gone away The air is much cleaner after it rains Spring air, follow the moment of the sun. There's a call for new beginnings here, but the sorrow of yesterday disappear. Let your body be new. Hey guys, what's going on? We're at uh, heading into Wilmore tomorrow morning. Just at a staging area here. Gonna be heading in with three ponies. Going after black bear. It's gonna be a black bear slash scouting trip. Get these horses some experience. Uh, we got a rifle and a bow with us. Uh, Wolves is obviously open also. But yeah, it's just going to be for the experience, get these horses out, kind of scout this area. Been thinking about going back there for sheep in the fall, so. So yeah, we got here a little late, so we're just going to camp out at the staging area for tonight. And then get up bright and early in the morning, start packing in. Should be a good trip. It snowed a bit today, we got some snow up on the peaks. And uh, hit some rain on the way in here, a little bit of snow. And tomorrow's supposed to be looking good. And then the weekend it's starting to warm up till about 18 degrees Celsius, so should be a good trip as long as the water isn't too high on our first river crossing. So just out of camp here, we got some elk all along that ridge there. And then behind us just behind me there up on that hill we got a pretty decent sized black bear but yeah this is all park boundary well it's morning of day one just gonna get the horses all saddled up get the packs on and uh, then we're gonna head in I think we got about 15 kilometers to the river and then we'll see if we can even cross it just because it's been snowing, all the winter runoff and everything, the water level might be fairly high. But we'll see when we get there. You pumped right up or what? Absolutely pumped right up. We're out here at the trailhead. Getting all pumped up. Should be a good trip. Pump for this fucking snow to fuck off. So are we going down that valley or we end up going that way? Uh, that one, but 
I think it cuts around this hill and that back one there. Oh, so you go like this? So it kind of goes like that. Okay, it's okay, it's okay, sweetie. Loki, shut up. Loki, get. It's okay, girl. It's okay, it's okay. Loki, get. Well, that was a fucking shit show. I'm gonna get this out of your feet. Where are you going, huh? Where are you going? Come on. Yep. Right now, come here. Yeah. That box needs to be adjusted, I think. Coda, move. Coda, move.
taking a little break or we might be staying here I'm not sure yet we got to check the maps but we're about 20 kilometers in now horses are getting pretty tired dogs are tired we're tired haven't eaten all day yet so but we got a pretty good view here at this camp Carson Creek Trail so it's the next one the next one is Eagle's Nest, Eagle's Nest. There's a camp here and there's a camp on the other side. And then the next one, the Eagle's Nest. Yeah, we're here. Eagle's Nest cabin's there. It's not even that far. No, because we, we did Sheep Creek to here. That's the thing, if you haven't been in here, eh? you just don't know if the next camp's better. Or if we get there and regret leaving this spot. This is a pretty decent spot. I'd say we shouldn't maybe I don't think we should push our luck. It's the only thing I'm worried about if we go to Eagle's Nest is that it's on elevation. There's no water. And it could be just a little shack tucked in the woods and even if there is a corral. A there. hitching post for the Rangers and We need water. <coughs> well well there's a reason people stay here with horses, right? Obvious. Yeah, this this is heavily used. Yeah. I don't think we should push our luck today. Well, I just got camp set up. Having something to eat. Dogs are totally done. Tents all set up. Yeah, probably uh, get to bed early. And then we'll see what tomorrow brings. Welcome to May 2021 Spring Horse Camp in the Wilmore. So this is uh, our first camp. I mean, we camped at the truck last night, but uh, this is our first backcountry camp that we stopped at. There's a few pretty nice ones before this, but we had lots of day left. And uh, we even had a lot of day left when we stopped here, but you don't pass up a good camp and then uh, wish you stopped later in the day. So. We stopped here. Horses had uh, we had to we hauled in food for them. So we hauled in food for the horses, uh, fed them that when we got here, and then been letting them sort of graze and nibble on a little bit of green grass that we do have. Took them down to the river for some water. Camp's behind me, but in the sunshine. Got our tent set up. Had a bite to eat. Uh, yeah, like I said, sprayed the horses with bug dope. Let them eat here. Still had a tough day. She's a pack horse. <clears throat> she got drugged through a lot of stuff that uh, the other girls just got to walk through. So she's hobbled right now and she's getting a chance to eat. Yeah, she's beer time. Well, it's day two. It's a pretty cold night. Pretty moist. Got uh, got up, had breakfast, and we're just getting the horses ready. Probably do another 20 kilometers today, there and back, just see what's up ahead and if there's anywhere better we can camp out. Then tomorrow we'll make the decision to pack up and go or just make this our base camp and just hunt from here. Yeah, just get geared up and we're gonna head out.
kilometers, I think, we just did. From camp? Yeah. I don't know, maybe six. It only took us an hour. It gets only... Well, it's only 12.30. We must have left before 11. Coda! Hey! Stella, be nice. See that? Some bites him on the ass. This is the Eagle's Nest patrol cabin. I think a bunch of guys were here in the winter time, but nobody's been here in the spring to clean it up since. A lot of wildlife on the way in here. Still seeing white tails. Some elk. Only bear we've seen so far though was the one the night that we got here, but we were still in the park then. Yeah, let the horses eat here for a bit, do some glassing, and we'll keep going. All right, we're here, it's uh, a little bright. It's May 21st, 2021. The day two or three of the bear hunt, I'm all lost track of time, it's comfortable in the mountains. So uh, we've been out riding, scouted to the end of the trail, left, uh, left camp back at camp. Been hanging out here for a couple hours, just glassing around, hanging out, giving the horses some of this uh, some of this grass that's kind of thin right this time of year. And before they move, I want to show you guys a couple caribou. Now this morning, I went for a walk on the trail, the main trail, and there's some pretty good big bull caribou tracks. I was kind of surprised to see. Don't really know anything about the caribou in this area. I didn't even know there was caribou in this area. We've seen lots of elk, seen moose, seen a few bears. But uh, yeah, here we go, finally. Just the two though, eh? There's so much wildlife out here. This valley's insane. I've seen more game like in this two days than I have like all hunting season last year. Whoa. Whoa. You. Yep. Yeah. This is the Boreal Huntsman Golf Course. Oh, well, just got back to camp. Getting the saddles off of the horses here. Get something to eat. Then we might go check out another trail tonight, but we'll see. We'll see how late it gets. It's kind of weird in the in the spring when you got till like 10:30 p.m. of daylight. Makes for some long days. Yeah, today seen whitetail, caribou, seen a moose. It wasn't too bad. Still no bears. But even if we don't see any bears trip like this, makes it worth it. It's just nice getting back here. I can't really see myself in this camera. I feel like I feel pretty rough. I feel like I look pretty rough. 
sheep hunting. Well, this is the end of uh, what day two, I guess day three of the entire trek. But this is night number two in uh, bear camp here in the mountains, Wilmore. It was a good day. It was a long day, hot. It was uh, damn near 20 degrees. Had to have been. We were walking on the gravel, and it was just. Whew, Scorcher, Coda's back there just recuperating. Both dogs are pretty pooped. It went from about minus two last night, maybe even more, because our water bottles were just about solid. So it was pretty cold last night, and then up to like plus 20 today. So it was a lot, pretty drastic change. Girls did very well. We found some uh, good feed for them back there, let them eat for a bit. And then uh, the grass is actually finally starting to grow up in here and we're the first ones in here this year. So they're getting a fair bit of uh, green golf course grass to feed on. So everybody's doing good, feet look good. Uh, just filled our bellies, it's about nine o'clock. I think we're gonna, gonna wait till it starts to get dark and just keep our eyes on the hills that we can see and get some more shut eye. Hammer hard tomorrow. You can go and check out uh, hopefully two more trails, one more pass, and just see what we see. We just got miles to cover. Foot. No, this foot. I'm done with that foot. Here we are, Saturday morning. A little bit warmer this morning, but still pretty chilly. Water's still frozen. <clears throat> so I got the uh, horse feed softening up. I'd actually heat some water up for it so that it wouldn't just refreeze, but sun's finally poking out of the trees. Let the two trustworthy girls loose and uh, let them eat for a bit while they're their uh, hay bites soften up. So yeah, I think the plan today is just get up, get some food in us, saddle everybody up and uh, hit the trail. It's about 7.30, 8 o'clock right now. I've been up for about an hour. And uh, yeah, hopefully we see some bears. Another nice day, good weather. Rain's supposed to start tomorrow night, so Let's see what happens. It should automatically record if it's on. Come on, Coda. Oh, I could go shower in that waterfall right now. That would feel amazing. Yeah, it's crazy. It's 20 degrees up here and the snow is not even really melting. Just trying to see what Floki was barking at. There's fucking shit falling from up there.
make sure Koda has a chance to catch up before we turn this corner. I don't even see him yet. Let's go, Koda! Hurry up! Get over here! Sitting down. Let's go! Koda! Get going, Koda. Get, get up. Get up, Koda. Get up there. Let's go. Get up. Let's go. Get going. Koda. Oh, I just got back to camp by myself. So Eric and Coda and his horse there are several kilometers behind me. His dog Coda was having some issues. Couldn't keep up, so he stayed back. I went back to camp with the two horses. So just waiting for them to roll in. Hopefully they get back before it's dark. I think it's about 10 o'clock now, so it's going to be dark here in about 20 minutes. But, it's still a good day. Seen lots. Lots of good views. Still no bear. Seen some cougar tracks and some grizzly tracks. They were a few days old. But, and we got up into probably about a foot of snow. And then we we're just too far from camp. So we had to head back or else we wouldn't have made it in time. But yeah, I'm gonna get a fire going here, have something to eat, and then head to bed. All right, so it's the end of day three. It's just about 11 at night, and I'm walking back, back into the wilderness to catch up with my pup. Go to he got a bit of heat stroke today, I think. Not real bad. He's not vomiting or anything, but he's weak and. Uh, he got a lot of water, so that helps, but he didn't get any food today, besides first thing this morning. And he's a big dog, and he's all black. Good boy. Just me and you, keep it up. Too cold to sleep out here. You're only a couple miles from camp. So, I'm in my sleeping bag on the trail. Quarters right there. And, uh, yeah, he's. Not really moving much now. All right, so it's uh, it's about 1 a.m. Sunday, I think now. Yesterday was Saturday. <sighs> my face hurts, my body hurts, my sunburn hurts from today, and I'm exhausted. So every time we sit down, I fall asleep anyway. I uh, drug out my sleeping bag. And uh, I'm just kind of under a spruce tree right now, right on the trail. So this is actually a decent spot besides the fact that there's a swamp below me and a big hill above me. But I guess that's actually better than a, better than in a willow flat. So coat is at my feet. And... Uh, yeah, we're gonna get a few hours of shut-eye. Maybe by the wee hours of the morning we can make her back to camp. We're only, I think we're only about, you know, right around a kilometer from camp now, so. Pretty easy walking. So bad he tied those horses up good. All right, everybody, made it through the night. It's like, it's just before 5 a.m., it's before 30. It's already starting to brighten up. Koda is awake tossing and turning up walking in circles so I'm gonna I'm gonna attempt to make the final stretch to camp. Let's go bud. I actually slept pretty good for sleeping on the side of a ditch. It was dry. For the most part warm. Everything 
including my boots were frozen, my gaiters are frozen solid, my pant legs are frozen solid. I had to beat my foot through my car hearts to get my pants on. Okay, short break, bud. Short break, bud. I'm gonna go. Look, I can see camp trees. <coughs> we're so close. Hey, we're so close. Less than a kilometer. There's a big owl hooting in the valley. I've seen him, I can hear him all over the place. Well, it's the final day out here in the mountains. Final full day. Took the day off. Uh, we got really, really sunburnt yesterday. Uh, horses worked hard. The dogs both just about died yesterday. Um, not literally, but just so hot. Uh, hot rocks, sharp rocks. Both dogs have um, just raw feet for the most part. It's supposed to start raining here. In the next few hours, it was really hot again today, so it's a good thing we took the day off because right around four o'clock it became overcast and it's good. So, coat is finally starting to cool off, his breathing starting to slow down. Um, he got up and walked around a bit, and uh, yeah, the plan is tomorrow get up early, should be raining, unfortunately. I pack up, and we got about a 12 kilometer trek back. Pretty easy walking. Um, if we're going normal pace, it should only take us three or four hours. And hopefully we can pack out of here all in one shot and just uh, just get out. It's gonna be wet, but it should be cool. And uh, yeah, we all just wanna go home at this point. It's been a really great trip, but, but uh, we're at the end of everything. We've got no more horse feed, just enough for tomorrow and uh, and the dogs are pooped, so it's time to get out of the Wilmore. Meter. Got a moose shed. <laughs> She's stubborn leaving though. No, I'm sure. Got to like the second creek crossing there, and it was just breaks. I literally like fought with her for 20 minutes. I had to get off and actually drag her across. Didn't want to leave the other girls behind. Well, Luna hasn't shut up since you left. <laughs> it's a big shed, man. Looks even bigger on your back. It was fun getting back on the horse. I bet. <laughs> Nothing to step on either. Well, officially packing out of here. We got, uh, we had two days left, but we woke up and it was pouring rain out. And looks like they're calling for it for our last two days here. We're at a horse feed. Dogs are totally done. Their, uh, their pads on their, on their paws are pretty worn out. But it was a trial run. So we're just getting all packed up. Gonna head out of here. We got uh, about 13 kilometers back to the truck. In the rain, should be fun. Sometimes things happen beyond your control As if they have a life of their own the Choices you make, what appears to be right it Seems you just have no Loki. Loki. As if you're a witness your own okay. mistakes It's easy to play along After you see what the choices came to be what? Like a storm huh? that's passed on All those guys must have Pull the brain Hung it up Down the drain Pull the fuse with you Oh please Don't fell trees Pull the fire 